We had a hunch that the whole idea of changing the lyrics to our national anthem wasn't a popular idea. So we commissioned a survey asking you to weigh in on those gender neutral lyric changes to O Canada. And guess what? Turns out those new lyrics make for a bigger flop than this rendition of our national anthem. <laughs> Employing campaign research, we asked Canadians from coast to coast to weigh in on the lyric changes to O Canada, namely the removal of All Thy Sons Command to In All of Us Command. Well, the people have spoken and the majority are not pleased. For starters, every province disapproves of the changes, with Quebec being more ambivalent given that the new lyrics only affect the English version of O Canada. Of note, only 9%, yes, just 9% of those surveyed said they strongly approve of the lyric changes, with an additional 18% saying they somewhat approved. That stands in sharp contrast with 33% saying they strongly disapprove of the changes, and 18% noting they somewhat disapprove. When those yay and nay camps are combined, the bottom line is this. Only 27% are in the yay camp, whereas 51% are naysayers. That's a fail when it comes to either of our two official languages. <laughs> Furthermore, reimagining our national anthem was not popular in any region of Canada, with the highest disapproval rate, 67%, emanating from the Prairie Provinces. So the question arises, why did the Trudeau Liberals go through with such a virtue signaling exercise in the first place? Could it be they were literally preaching to the choir? Check out this statistic, only a majority of Liberal supporters approved of the gender neutral changes and only by an 8% margin, 54% saying yes and 46% saying no. By way of contrast, the majority of supporters for the Conservatives, the NDP, Green Party, Bloc Quebecois, and all other parties were opposed to the lyric changes. Demographically speaking, the biggest support group for the lyric changes were females aged 18 to 34. But even with this group, the majority of young females disagreed with the lyric changes. 54% saying no versus 46% saying yes. In the final analysis, the Trudeau Liberals charged forward with politically correct lyric changes to our national anthem that nobody other than the private member who introduced the bill really wanted. And now that the changes are official, the majority of Canadians disapprove. Of course, the Liberals didn't bother asking Canadians what they wanted, so we did. It's not too late to chip in to cover the costs of this poll. It cost about $2,500 to conduct, and it's the only way to find out how Canadians really feel about these virtue signaling moves the Liberal government are pushing through. Just label this new and not so improved anthem, Woe Canada. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, download the new Rebel Media app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store to take the Rebel with you wherever you go.